Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Hoyt Satori. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Point on Archery. My name is Brad. Uh, I'm your host today. And today we're going to be doing a first impressions of the uh, Hoyt Signature Series, uh, Fred Eichler Signature Series uh, 21 inch Satori. It's going to be uh, my new hunting bow. And uh, today I'm going to give you a look at it and kind of just take a look at uh, some of the specs that's going on with it and my first impressions of uh, what I think of this, of this riser. Uh, so let's get into it. The Hoyt Fred Eichler Signature Series Satori is a traditional inspired riser that utilizes the original Earl Hoyt dovetail system. This riser is a 21 inch metal ILF riser so you can set it up with any ILF compatible limbs of your choosing. The riser weighs in at a very sturdy feeling 2.5 pounds and it features micro adjustment for precise limb alignment. The riser includes an adjustable strike plate for achieving your perfect center shot as well as a very nice soft carry case, calf hair side plate, rug rest, set of allen wrenches, and a nice Selway bow stringer and a couple of other Hoyt extras just for fun. Overall, it's a very nice package. Okay, so for a while now, I've been uh, looking into trying to build a, uh, an ILF hunting rig. And, uh, you know, I was looking for a bow that I could break down really easily and quickly. And also something that's going to have the feel and kind of be a little more similar to uh, the bow that I compete with uh, and shoot with regularly on the range. Uh, so, so, yeah, I went with the uh, Hoyt Satori. And um, I got to say, first impressions right off the bat. I freaking love this thing. This is a very well-crafted uh, piece of kit. Um, I've, I've uh, had the you know pleasure of taking a look at a couple other ILF bows, um, and I got to say, I the fit and finish of this bow is outstanding. Uh, just the tolerance level, as far as the machining goes, is is extremely extremely nice let's see if I can get this thing to focus in a little bit yeah there we go check out those ILF limb fittings right there yeah so this thing this thing is top-notch the uh, the coating that's on the outside this this storm gray they call it storm gray um, it is it is extremely nice it feels very rugged it has actually a texture to it I'm not sure if you guys can pick this up or not on here but it actually has it has a bit of a texture to it uh, this is something I really I really like I really enjoy the feel of it It doesn't feel like it's gonna rub off or, or get scratched off very easily um, Eventually, I'm going to actually camouflage paint this because I can't resist modifying my gear and I'm going to be uh, painting this in a multi cam probably with skulls uh, type of thing uh, But yeah, just right off the bat uh, the radius on uh, If you can see that let's see if we can get that in there yeah, there we go. Check that out. Pretty nice radius. I love that radius. That's actually one of the things that uh, attracted me to this riser was uh, the extreme radius uh, on on the the shelf here. Um, it all, and honestly, the the reality is, is, I think this riser looks sexy as hell. The curves on this thing are just really really cool looking, and uh, you know, overall, I'm pretty impressed. So. You know the weight and balance of the riser as far as let's take a look as far as the overall balance just letting it sit in hand it, it, it kicks back a little bit but it's not too extreme I've had risers that kick back quite a bit uh, this riser has a little bit of pitch back um, but not a big deal I'm gonna be I'm gonna be modifying uh, this nice piece of brass that I got on Amazon uh, it weighs about two and a half pounds. I'm going to be making this into my hunting bear bow weight at some point. So that'll be fun. I'll probably make a video of that also. So the other thing is uh, this this particular riser right here is going to run you close to about uh, $450. I think it was $449 uh, on Three Rivers Archery, which is where I purchased this. Uh, I normally buy most of my gear from Lancaster, and I think it's about the same on Lancaster. Um, but you're going to find uh, other ILF risers uh, in the same ballpark um, like the Tradtech Titan, like the Gelo Ghost, um, and also the, the Das Dalla. Those are all similar uh, 
types of risers that are ILF uh, that are going to be in the same uh, ballpark uh, price wise. Um, so you're going to probably be getting a similar quality out of those as well. Um, but I got to say this one is, is by far in my opinion uh, a higher quality. So uh, if you had a choice, you know, there's obviously some other good ones out like the CD risers. Uh, those are amazing risers. Uh, they're going to be a little outside of this ballpark range, right? 450 bucks. Those are going to be more in the six to $800 riser. Uh, high quality though, really high quality. But this one, uh, you're getting quite a bit of bang for your buck. And uh, so far, I'm not complaining. All right. So overall, uh, my first impressions of uh, the Hoyt Fred Eichler Signature Series uh, 21 inch hunting riser. I freaking love this thing. I can't wait to set this thing up. I can't wait to take it to the range. Uh, and I can't wait to take it on, on my hunt uh, this year that I'm setting up in October. This is gonna be a, a fun little riser. Uh, it already feels great and that has a lot to do with uh, your overall enjoyment um, in shooting, especially with archery. You know, you have to love the way your, your gear feels. And this piece of kit feels amazing right off the bat. Um, so yeah, if you, uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and, uh, hope you enjoyed this. This is going to be one of my first videos that I put out and, uh, yeah. So, uh, keep hitting that range. Keep training y'all.